Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to show you how you can spawn a prop in verse code. And I'm going to kind of start from the beginning on this just to go through the whole process. So to start, we're going to go ahead and make a verse device. I'll come up here, right click, and I'll just call this spawn device and we'll go create and that's going to pop in. I'm just going to go ahead and double click into this. Now I already have the code written for this, so I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in. And we'll come back to this in just a minute. And this is a little bit of a takeoff on a video I just did, but I want to show you how you can bring in multiple props. Let's go back in the editor and let's build that code real fast. And we'll drag this into the scene. And you'll see here it's asking for a trigger device and it's also wanting a creative prop. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go get a trigger device and bring that into the scene and just pop that right there. Go back to my verse device and I can pair that up right here. Okay. So let's go into the code. Now let me go ahead and build this and make sure I'm not getting any errors. Okay, that's great. So let's go back and take a look at this code here, what's going on. So we have our at editable for the prop, and this is a creative prop asset, and it's initialized with this called default creative prop asset. And then what we'll do is we're creating one variable, which is a vector three for location, and another variable that's called offset. Then what we're doing is we're creating this function, and I'm just calling it spawn this, and because we're using a trigger, it takes in a agent in an optional container. So we send that. There's no return on this. And then every time we call this, we increase our offset by 100. And then here, down here, we reset our location with that offset every time we call. And this is so that we're not spawning into the same location. Now, the results of of spawn prop, this is a method inside a verse. It requires a prop, of course, and then it also requires a transform. This could be empty, but we can send in the translation, the scale, and the rotation if we want. And I'm just sending in the translation or the position of the item in 3D space. This returns, if I hit control and click on this, this returns a tuple which is two items in kind of an array and the first one is the option of the creative prop type and then here is our spawn prop result as well and I just did a tutorial about the spawn prop result I'll leave that in the description the link to that and so what I'm interested in is the first item in that tuple and so what I do is I have results here I'm wanting to know, is there something in that optional container? Is there a prop in there? So to, to know that, I'm querying it. And then if there is something, then I'll know the item has spawned in. If it's empty, then I know that something's probably messed up, that I messed something up probably. <laughs> and that's it. That's all the code there is to it. Now the thing about this is that I should be able, because I'm not going to be spawning them into the same position, I can spawn in multiple items here. So if I click here where it says pink, this is kind of mind boggling. There's over 46,000 items that I have access to that I can spawn in. Amazing, right? So let me just look here. Um, there's one I think called a statue. So let's see if I can find it. There's a lot of stuff in here. It's pretty crazy. I mean, you can just pick anything you want. How about this? I'll just pick this. Okay. And I'll just save that. And let's go ahead and launch this and see if this works. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so it reloaded. So let me go ahead and hit start. I don't know how big this item is, so it might overlap. So let's go across this trigger. There it is. It is. It's overlapping. See that? It, so let me go back into my editor here. And let's go ahead and 
increase that offset by let's say 400 or 300 so let me just rebuild that code real fast and of course you could offset it on the other dimensions as well I'm gonna push those changes it's also possible to do a custom prop if you've imported your own asset or static mesh or whatever it is so let's take a look at this and see if this is any better I think my trigger device is pretty close to where it spawns in for some reason I saw the shadow oh there it is so I'm just gonna run over the trigger because it's you can see the shadow actually you can see the shadow <laughs> So I might want to change the position of that. Let's look up and see what I did. That's trippy, isn't it? Yeah. So that's pretty crazy what you can do with this. And you could have it go in any direction, or you could have it go to a random direction. There's a lot of possibilities. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you next time.